Malaysia is gaining momentum as a destination for global tech investment. Tesla has launched its best-selling Model Y in the country and is rolling out a network of ultra-fast superchargers with an investment of 13.5 million US dollars. Meanwhile, Amazon Web Services has committed 25.5 billion ringgit through 2037 to set up a cloud region in Malaysia. But this wave of opportunity comes with an urgent question. Do we have the talent to keep up? Even though STEM enrollment has grown by nearly 10% over five years, the local workforce hasn't fully kept pace with demand in areas like artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and advanced manufacturing. If we don't back up, there's a risk of this investment maybe downscaling, or they will look at other places who can provide more competitive talent. Science, Technology and Innovation Minister Chang Li Kang believes the groundwork laid today will only bear fruit in the long run. Although we are seeing improvement, a student enrolling in STEM, but you can only see the effect after 5 to 10 years when this batch of cohorts or students, they are coming out or graduating. That's why we need to plan ahead, very much ahead. To bridge the gap, short-term solutions include hiring foreigners and upskilling programs, not just for engineers, but also for non-STEM graduates picking up coding, AI and robotics. Collaborations across ministries and institutions aim to realign education with evolving tech needs. This includes micro-credential initiatives by MIMOS and the Malaysia Board of Technologists in collaboration with the Human Resources Ministry and TVET institutions. On the education front, the emphasis is shifting from textbook learning to hands-on experience and exposure. Initiatives like the Malaysia Tech Olympics and Kambara Science Borneo are designed to make science tangible especially in undisturbed areas. I think it has to be very interactive so that they can see the connection between real life and also theory. Despite these efforts, Malaysia continues to face a brain drain. Graduates, especially in fields like engineering, are lured by higher paying jobs overseas, often earning several times more across the border. If we, we have a complete ecosystem in Malaysia, although they might be earning more in overseas, there, there is always a hope for them to come back. The road to becoming a high-tech, innovation-driven economy doesn't just depend on big names like Tesla or Amazon. Chang believes it depends on whether Malaysia can build, inspire, and retain the people behind the tech. Danishwar Jareza, FMT.